Folks, we're going to further reduce the deficit over the next decade as well, another $250 billion. And a big part of that is — And a big part of that is — And a big part of that is because corporations are finally going to pay a staggering minimum tax — Look, it's a plan that lets Medicare negotiate prices of prescription drugs as they do with the, de with the Department of Veterans Affairs. With the Department of Veterans Affairs. Without you, none of this works. I mean, I really mean it. None of it works. And one of the things we have uh, to do this year is we have, in a sense, a little almost too much to work with. Mm. A little almost too much to work with. Mm. Because we got a lot we got to get done. Was that a fart? I don't know. Every one of those families, I met all the places I mentioned, I was there for, met with every single family. <clears throat> and you know what they'd say? Almost the same phrase, Dick. They'd say, do something. Oh, watch your language, Mr. Dirty Mouth. Well, you always have to be, uh, take a look. And no, no one is predicting a recession now. Predicting a recession now. Predicting a recession now. They're predicting, they're, some are predicting there may be a recession in 2023. So let's show some true strength in this nation, show our unity, our resolve, our innovative spirit in America, and come out of this long term much better off. If we stand up to the bullies of the world, the autocrats and dictators, the bullies of the world, the autocrats and dictators, we stand up for those who are, are, who are ready to unite. I have to go wash my mouth out with soap. <laughs>